back to how Dave Brown gets down. On today's show, we're making a wine bottle fountain. A little more elaborate on the DIY project in, but uh, definitely doable. If I could do it, you can do it. Uh, let's just jump right into it and get the material list and tool list going. For today's project, you're going to need a flower pot that's watertight, one masonry brick, one 4x4 four four inch square tile, rose travertine is the one I picked today, about one foot of plumber's tape, quarter inch straps, and half inch screws, about six feet of 3 8 flex copper tubing, a 45 gallon per hour water pump, any type of stemless wine glass, and then last but not least, a wine bottle. For the tools needed for the project today, you're going to need a pair of safety glasses and gloves, impact drill, and a standard hammer drill with a 3 16 masonry bit, 3 8 diamond tipped glass cutting bit, copper pipe cutter, wire cutters, plumber's putty, about a foot of weed whacker string, and a tube of silicone. So to start this project, what we're going to do is we're going to take the pot, we're going to take the bottle, and we're going to figure out the placement you want so you know exactly where to drill the hole. So we're going to put it here, you know, I kind of want my cup there, about there. So what you want is you want to drill the hole in the back so the copper comes out of the bottle, wraps around it, goes down, so on and so forth. So I put my mark and we're going to put it in the jig and we're going to drill it out. So now that we got the hole marked out and the line to the angle of the dangle that we want to drill the hole, we're going to take some plumber's putty and make kind of like a donut shaped. And uh, what this is for is we're making a little dam to go around the hole. We're going to put water in there. So when we're drilling it with the diamond bit, it doesn't actually crack the glass. If we crack the glass, we got to go get another bottle of wine. You know, it's going to take a lot longer to make this video. So now that we got the dam ready, just put a little dab of water in there, just enough, you know, just a teaser. Nothing's, nothing too crazy. And then you're going to take your bit and you're going to hit it straight at it. Get the hole drilled first. Go easy. Don't just punch through it. Just go with it. So let's do it. It's going to get a little loud. I'm not putting no pressure on this. I'm just letting the drill do its work. You have all day to do this. And there we are, we're through. So now that we got our hole, keep the dam there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda angle it so the pipe can actually come out of it more gently. So we're just gonna kinda ease into it. So now I'll just take a piece of your copper and just to kind of see. So we need to kind of go a little more like this. Very gentle process. You don't want to. You don't want to force it. You want to just go with it. Maybe just a little bit more. You want it to kind of come out flat out of there. That ought to do it. I like it. So you see here, it's an oblong. See there, it's it's oblonged, so it'll come out more of an angle. <laughs> now that we got our holes drilled, you're gonna want to put on a pair of gloves for this next part. 
uh, you want to start kind of getting the bending going before you actually put it in the hole because you don't want to put the pressure on it just bust it so what I was thinking about doing was maybe just actually using the bottle the bottom of it just to kind of wrap it just to kind of get it going you know and just ease into it just so once you get a, a coil going and the pressure actually off of that area it should work out pretty good so let's just see So I'm going to need to actually kind of kink, not kink it, but just put good angle. This stuff's pretty flexible. If you can't do it with your hands, just use an edge of a table or around something solid. Anything will work, really. So, this like this. So I'm going to go a little more. actually get radius going so if you can see what I'm doing is I'm following the direction of the bottle yeah. you just really don't want the bottle to break because you don't want to start this whole process over it's scary drilling that bottle out You just want to make sure you don't kink it either, because then you're going to have to start this whole process over. So, now that we got that there, let's actually put the bottle and just kind of be gentle with it. Get it in there. And that's what you don't want to happen. find out I got a little excited and actually did break the bottle so the best part about this is actually going to help out in our favor um, but now that we got a wrap on it now you're going to just use the bottle as your your guide to roll it and you're going to find the sweet spot and you're just going to just slowly roll it without breaking the bottle more You don't necessarily have to do it on the bottle at this moment, just slowly get wrapped. We're going to use other methods to actually hold the bottle to the tubing. I'm just slowly wrapping it, following the contour of the bottle. The more of this you have pulled out, the easier it is to wrap around the bottle. You have leverage. When you're up high, it'll just slowly roll the contour of the bottle. And once you get some good wraps on there, just go for it. Once you start getting to the bottom here, figure out Okay, so it's going to sit like this, so I'm going to have one more coil to come around and then down. So we're going to wrap it up right around here. That looks about good. So now, we're going to take our pot and we're going to see Okay, so I need this to come down and around. So what you do is you're gonna just twist it. And just keep messing with it. It'll it'll come around to how you want it. It's it's pretty soft copper, to be honest. So now that I know I have quite a bit of extra left since it's all in the way, I'm going to take my tube cutter 
Uh, you can get this at Home Depot or something. Ten bucks. Cut off your extra so it's not in your way. And with this, there's a little cutting wheel on there and you just tighten it towards snug. And then you go around one way, you go around the other way, and you put a little quarter turn on it, go around. Put another quarter turn on it. Get rid of that. So now we have our basic shape of what we're going to do here. So we are going to face the label so it's somewhat front. Bend this around. Okay, so that looks about good there. That, that looks like it's going to work for me. So now we're going to go on to the next step. So now you're gonna take your brick and what you're gonna do is you're gonna kinda of just mock it up on there. Uh, take your, your pump, take a, just a piece of what's left over from the, uh, the bottle there and then just kinda of put it in. Generally this is gonna fit right in there snug. Uh, we'll use a little Gorilla Glue later just to make sure it stays. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get it on there about like that and then you're gonna take a, a piece of the plumber's tape there and you're gonna bend it up and you're gonna make a little strap. So, do this, mark a couple marks. And then now, once you have that there, just take everything off, you'll worry about the straps for that later. Uh, you're gonna take your uh, hammer drill with a masonry bit, this is a 3 16 size bit, and uh, just drill them out. You want to make sure you go deep enough, so just take one of your screws. If it goes all the way down, you're good to go. Drill out the next hole. Now how to do it. So now, you're going to take weed whacker string and you're going to cut little pieces. This is the best way to do this, I found. Just uh, pop them down there in the hole. Put your pump up there, take your bracket, fumbles, and then screw that baby down. So now your pump's nice and secure on there. Not terribly solid, but it's good enough for this application. Now you're going to take your spare copper tubing and just lay it here. Make sure it's straight because you want to come off of this brick straight. And then you're going to take your uh, quarter inch straps and you're just going to put as many on there as you want, really. I'm going to put maybe four just to make sure we're solid. Okay. This. Remove that and same process with the holes. Nice. All right, didn't blow out. So let's throw in a couple of these. So now we're gonna take the four by four tile and what we're gonna do is we're gonna Gorilla Glue this glass to it. So uh, just take your Gorilla Glue here and just put a generous amount on there. 
kind of spread it, this stuff foams up a bit, so there you go. And just place it as center as possible. Doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to be on there. And then just set aside to let it dry up and tack up for a little bit. Alright, so before assembly, we want to just double check and make sure that all of our bends, everything's going to work out right. Um, so I have a, a mark cut. I, I feel pretty good with all the bends here. It looks good. So let's just get that pipe cut and start assembly. And just use your little tube cutter here. And then also too, I wanted to point out, uh, since our, our bottle broke a little bit, you know, we, we just wanted to go ahead and fill that up with a little bit of silicone, let it sit overnight just to make sure, you know, you don't have any leaks. I mean, it's going to be over the flower pot anyway, so I mean, it'll just drip in there, but the effect would kind of be gone. All right, so we're ready for final assembly. Uh, we're going to take the Gorilla Glue, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a little here on the pipe, and then we're going to put just a little here on the brick. So what it'll do is it'll keep it from twisting. It'll just ensure the bond with the clamps and the glue. Everything will be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little dabble right here on the copper, and then just take a, a, a cheap paintbrush. You can get them at the dollar store, wherever and just put it right here. You want to make sure to put it on the pipe and not in the housing. If you put it in there, you could push it in and it'll block the pump and then, yeah, there you go. So then now we're gonna put it right here just a little bit. This is the only spot that it's really gonna be touching the brick because there's these little ridges, it's hard to see. But um, if in your application you could put a whole, whole stripe all the way down, go for it. But in this situation, I'm just gonna put a little here. Call it good. So now you're going to take the assembly and put it here. And I put little little lines just to kind of give me the idea of where I want it to line up. And then take these and screw them down. pretty good so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to slide your, your box over here and just set it in here now this pump I, that I got off of Amazon it came with some LED lights you know I, I don't really care to use them I'm just going to bury them in the rocks I mean if you want to you can glue it there or something it just doesn't really seem too fancy for me so that looks good once we get the cup and everything else in there we can adjust this bottle and kind of twist it around so it looks more natural so let's throw some rock in there and see how it goes. All right, now we're just ready to start adding the rock. Just spread it out however you want. flat as possible and then take your tile with your glass on it set it in there and uh, just to do your final adjustments I think that looks good let's add some water and turn it on all right so when we add this water we're gonna just do it kind of slowly because it's not gonna really take that much water um, just put a little bit in there just to get it going and then you're gonna to wanna to plug it in just to see where you're at. And let the pump kinda of turn on as it, it's running. Add a little more water here. It'll take a few seconds for it to catch up. It's got a, quite a bit of a way to travel there. All right, there we go, it's finally flowing. Took a little bit of time, but once it goes, it goes. So that's basically what you got there. So now you're going to want to kind of just move stuff around a little bit so it's not splashing out, out anywhere. You want to keep this maybe inside, you know, you just want to make sure it's t 
toned down a little bit so it's not splashing all over the walls and whatnot. And there you go, folks. The wine bottle fountain. Pretty decent even with the hiccups we had, but uh, you push through, you'll get the project done. Uh, you're going to want to make sure to check the water level in this every few days for uh, evaporation. You don't want to burn that pump up after all that. Um, I'd like to give a special thanks to Talco and Santa Maria for donating uh, this drill bit here and in the top of the project. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, for full tool and material list, look in the description box below. And until next time, Sunday Brown gets down.